Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is good. Uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse 6 says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrath, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Cain is vexed, he is annoyed, and he walks around with his anger against his brother Abel. God speaks to him, and in Genesis chapter 4, we notice that Cain is annoyed because his method of worshiping God, that is, bringing fruit instead of an animal to sacrifice God does not accept and so that is the reason Cain is annoyed with Abel now when somebody is annoyed with you and they're walking around with hatred or anger for you or jealousy that's a terrible thing this was fed on a daily basis and eventually Cain slew he killed his brother Abel watch this morning, somebody has hatred in their mind against another person. Stop it. Stop it. Don't feed that. Don't feed those emotions. Because as you go through the day, if you're annoyed with that person and you're just babysitting that annoyance, listen, something can happen that you can damage that individual. The better thing to do is to ask God to remove hatred from your mind for that individual and pray for good to happen to that person. Let me point out something else. Was Abel wrong to worship God the correct way? The answer is no. Abel obeyed God and Abel got a blessing. Uh, similarly, Cain could have obeyed God and got his blessing or his approval from God. So, those who worship God, remember that when you worship God in spirit and in truth, and you worship God the correct way, there are individuals who may be worshiping God the wrong way, like Cain, and they did not get approval from God. They would be annoyed with you. So in this world, even though you are worshiping God the right way, you can have persecution or tribulation, but be of good cheer and continue to worship God in the correct way. Father and God, help us not to walk around with hatred for our brothers or sisters like Cain, but help us to ask you to remove the hatred from us and to show us how we can worship you in spirit and in truth on a daily basis. Guide us as we go through the day. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, Standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior.